yes, welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com where we're looking at all the features and functionalities and tools here in Photoshop. Today, we're up to the history brush tool, which among the forgotten features and tools in Photoshop is probably right up near the top of the list and with good reason because it's a pretty lousy tool. It's very destructive which is the opposite, of course, of non-destructive, the history brush tool. Let's take a quick look at it here. I've got a new uh, document, a new image opened up in Photoshop. The first thing I'm going to do is go Window History to open up my history panel, which is sitting right over here. And I have the the starting state, the beginning state of my image as I open it, 05.jpg, and I have my history brush icon beside that. You can change the state from which the art, or not the art, just the regular history brush is going to paint by selecting any of these open areas. We only have one history st uh, the, the step so far, which is opening the image. So let's add another state here. Well, first of all, we're going to paint from our original image. That We're just getting that out in the open uh, right now before we get going. We've got the background image selected. We're going to go filter, filter gallery, and we're going to choose this stained glass filter. I'm going to leave everything as it is. Cell size 9, border thickness 1, light intensity 1, Boom, hit OK. It's going to apply this terrible effect. Let's say we want to take this terrible effect and make it an awfully terrible effect. Well, this is where the history brush comes into play. We can open up our history panel. Yes, we're painting from the original image. Great. I've got my history brush. Mode is set to normal. Opacity flow. Everything is normal, working as it should be. I'm going to begin painting over uh, these sheep here, just like this. Great. See? And it's painting what it sees in the original image. Now, remember, when we opened the image, we didn't have this stained glass effect. We just had a normal photo. So now, over the sheep, I have just the normal photo of sheep and just that dreadful stained glass effect over the rest of the image. And it really makes the image look even worse than it was before. But it's a good demonstration of what this brush does. Now, to make matters worse, you can work with blend modes like multiply because when you want the sheep not to just look like they're dirty, but that you want them to look like they've come out of a crude oil bog, you use the multiply blend mode and really blacken up the bottoms of them. And then the screen blend mode to really touch up the highlights on the top. It, it looks terrible, and, and you can see here we're working on one layer. None of this is masked. Um, it's the history brush. I don't know. It's very destructive. In my mind, not a very useful tool, but it is a tool in Photoshop, and I'd be remiss if we didn't at least touch on it, and I could show you the true horrors of the history brush tool. I guess, do you use the history brush tool? I don't, but in Photoshop, the history brush tool, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. NathanielDodsonTutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.